welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video, and today, very excited, I walked into my local Target store, and finally, bingo bango, there he was, just a sitting on the shelf, but this is McFarlane Collector's Edition Firestorm from their DC Multiverse line, and yes, I did say McFarlane Collector's Edition, so it's going to be a little bit of a $10 more figure which i mean it is a great looking figure don't get me wrong but let's look at this in comparison so i also picked up wave rider now if you look at wave rider and you look at firestorm besides the flaming heads right you get two four six accessories stand card for 20 bucks and and you have firestorm which essentially you get eight hands couple fire effect pieces thrown in, then you get the idea in the card stand and whatnot. Same thing with Midnighter, right? He's got two accessories, a pair of hands. I'm just saying, the $10 price point, additionally, doesn't really work. Now, on the sides of the box, though, you get some nice Firestorm Crisis on Infinite Earths action, along with some artwork on the back. And here's the barcode, and like I said, I grabbed him from Target, so if you're looking, you can probably pick him up now. So... In the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Collector's Edition from their DC Multiverse line, Firestorm. And while I got all you hotheads here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old Toys, New Toys, Daily Use Updates by now. You get the gist of it. So he comes with extra hands, right? That's pretty cool. Outstretched flying hands. And then you have a, a finger pointing hand and a grabby hand. And then you have a grabby hand that's got some fire. And this is what I'm talking about. Really nice paint, nice fire effect. And the effect is sculpted onto the hand. And I'm really starting to prefer that. Same thing with this really interesting one where he's kind of doing the flying hand, but it's his fingertips that are outstretched and they turn into fireballs, right? Essentially, he's Fire Mario. He got a hold of the whole fire flower situation. But these two hands take the cake. And again, this is what I've been asking for. This looks just amazing. You have a little semblance of the hands amidst all the Firestorm Matrix powers. And I totally dig that. I think it's painted well. It looks nice. And it's not two separate pieces. Now, you have Firestorm himself. Beautifully painted. Just a standout. This is one of their best that they've done this year. I love the fire in the hair. That's really cool. A little Ghost Rider action right there. That's definitely what it reminds me of. But then you have the yellows and you have the reds. And he just pops because of those old school superhero colors. It's a little sloppy on the back within the white. But it's very minute. Overall... It's a really solid looking figure. Had they done a little bit more of a wash within the yellow or the red, really would have made him pop. That's where the $30 really should come in. A little bit extra paint here and there. But don't get me wrong. As much as I'm going to say, does it have to be 30 bucks? It is a really nice figure. And for that, I do recommend it because it's a really nice all encapsulating figure. You got all the fire powers. You got all the articulation you need. You got the bicep, you got the double joints. It's a new sculpt through and through. The hands repurposed in some way, shape, or form, but largely it's an all new body, all new head portraits, all new everything. So in that sense, yes, if you're going to do 30 bucks, yeah, I'd like to see in a brand new action figure for the most part. He gets a little cumbersome uh, top the diaper, which is not really a diaper. It actually works with this type because of the belts. He's got some double jointed knees and he's got the toe. And I would say if anything, a little pin at the toe is wrongly colored. If it would have been yellow, that would have been just a much better situation. And maybe giving him a flight stand. That also would have been cool, right? Because he is a flying character. That's kind of his whole deal besides lighting things on fire but you get the idea he displays well with one of those the pointer hand the face sculpt in general now this would have been interesting to have different face plates because of how his mask is essentially right that would have been kind of cool to see a more gritted teeth version but i absolutely love the various hands it brings him to life it gives him expressions the fireball fingertip hands Looked cool enough. I fear that some is kind of lost 
in the whole aesthetic of it, right? Like, you get what he's doing, but maybe could have been fine-tuned just a little bit. But the whole fist situation with the fire, that is Firestorm right there. That is done oh so well. I love seeing this. I think that that is perfect from the suit to the colors to the paint to everything else that he has. It's pretty well done. Now, how does he scale up with the rest of your DC Multiverse collection? And besides Superman, all of these figures have come out this year. This has been a great year for McFarlane Toys and kind of changing up the formula and doing a lot more in the vein of classic suits, classic characters, 90s, 80s, things of that nature, where I think a lot of DC Comics fans, that's where they like to live. And that's really where it is for myself as well. But in the truest sense of the DC multiverse, having Firestorm with Hawkman, having him with Kyle Rayner, you really can build up your team. You don't have to get every figure and that's really where the DC Multiverse for me is heading. I want the classic characters, the ones that I know and love. And then just to show you some comparisons between two of the newest DC Multiverse figures, you have the fellow hot-headed Wave Rider with this new Firestorm and Midnighter. And don't fret, I will have a video upcoming shortly that shows off both these figures as well. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys collector's edition firestorm and in the truest sense of a never needing another version of this firestorm i think that they definitely nailed it now you do get the collector card you get the collector stand you get that inflated price so keep that in mind but i want to see more in the box extra head portraits face plates something like that heck even a really cool flight stand so you can get this firestorm airborne but in the meantime you've heard my thoughts and now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything firestorm and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember now how cool would it have been to have a clear plastic piece that comes off around his neck and you got the professor talking to him just a floating head right that would have been awesome and when they do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios